Well, you all know we do lots of details, and this is just another type of project that requires a lot of detail. You want to build something out of steel, you better know what you're doing, and the, it all starts with the piers. The piers on all of these projects had to be done a certain depth, a certain width, and you also don't want it to be too big when it comes out of the ground. So if you notice here, we, uh, we kept it small on the footprint of what comes out. These will come off, of course, but you've got to have it strong enough to put bolts in there. And now notice another detail on the steel is look how thick this plate is. Now, a lot of people will use a plate that's not quite this half inch steel, but the reason you want a thick piece of steel is because you don't want any flex between these bolts. Everything's uniform this way, but you don't want this flexing. When this gets, gets uh, pressure on it from the wind and so forth, you can see how tight it is. It doesn't move at all. It just a sixteenth of an inch and it bounces back. And that rigidity is coming not only in the strength of this, but also in the strength of this plate. It becomes one unit with these beautiful welds that Derek did, but it has to not flex in this steel. If you get a plate that's too thin here, it's going to flex and these poles will have movement when you get into the high winds, especially some of these other poles that are much taller than this one. The taller it is, the more torque you have against this steel plate. So this plate is very important. Of course, then if you can keep this locked in and it doesn't flex, then you have to fasten it to this. And you can see we didn't use small bolts on this. This is very, very large bolts so that it's in there locked into the pier, which goes deep into the ground. These are engineered piers so that they can handle this kind of torque and this kind of weight. The weight's really not that significant on here, but the weight could be, and it would still be able to handle it. If we upgrade to bigger beams, we want to bigger, make it more structure up top. You want to put a deck on top of this thing. It can handle it because the piers were done right. So it takes a combination of those details, the strength of the steel here, the strength of the steel plate, the strength of the concrete piers, and the strength of these bolts to make it one unit. And it ain't going nowhere now.